My idols are Paris Hilton and Marilyn Monroe. I love Paris Hilton because of her looks and just how her life is and it's really interesting and I would want to live a life like that. I like her style. Before she was more like sexual personality and now she's more like classy. Before she was a party girl. All the guys like Paris Hilton. And I feel like she's the ultimate woman, like, you know, the living Barbie. And Marilyn Monroe is like my role model because I would say like it's a soul and a mind thing with her. I want my middle name to be legally changed to Monroe. I want it to be Diamond Monroe. Well, Christy says taking care of her daughter Diamond has led to her being homeless, broke, and emotionally destroyed. She says she tries to stand up to Diamond's expensive and frivolous demands, but admits she always gives in. I never worked a day in my life. I was never stable. I was always moving all over the place. So I really couldn't get a job. I believe she's never had a job because she's had such a hard life. I never had to work because everything was given to me. Diamond believes what's hers is hers and what's mine is hers. She thinks just because I brought her into this world, I need to take care of her for the rest of her life. I end up giving Diamond half of the money I make every time I get paid, just to make sure she's got food, clothes, her makeup. If it's Diamond's last dollar or my last dollar, she will insist on spending it on her nails, on her hair. She only helps me out very minimally, only if I need something. She doesn't really help me out that much. I have put over a thousand miles on my car in like two weeks. When I talk to her about money and saving money, she says, I live day to day. So she has no value or appreciation for money. I do tell her no, but I do give in because I feel bad. Oh my God, I wish I could talk faster. Um, <laughs> you know, first off, you're talking about Paris Hilton being glamorous and, you know, party girl and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I know Paris. Robin and I have known her for years. And let me tell you, she's very smart. Two, she works very hard. If that's your role model, you would have a job. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, and so... I'll come back to that. Did, did you notice that she said you seldom give her anything? I, I heard that. Let's say you've given her $25,000 in the last year or two. If it made absolutely no difference, wouldn't you rather have that 25000 back? Yeah. And if it actually hurt the situation, then wouldn't you really have that $25,000 back? Yes. How would you feel right now if all of a sudden you reached in your pocket and there was $25,000 in there and your daughter was not worse off? But I made a list of the way you enable her. Like, number one, you stop living with your boyfriend to live with Diamond in the car because he has some logic about him and says, no, I'm not going to let her live here and not contribute anything. Uh, you give her half your paycheck each month. She says, oh, she's going to be a little here and there. You're broke, yet you buy nice vegan food. You buy her cosmetics, makeup, hair products, $80 shampoo. $80 shampoo? I didn't know there was such a thing. You, you pay $70, well, of course, I wouldn't. You pay $70 a week for modeling classes? You've never made her get a job? You've never had a job? No. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Never needed one, I guess. Why have you never had a job? Never needed one. I, she gets half your money. 